What's up guys? Welcome back to So Many Parks, So Little Time, or as I like to call it, someone please launch this virus off of our planet. So today's a little bit different. I really needed to get out of the house. So we are at Amusement Park Drive-In in Laurel, Montana. Now it should be noted, the rides here have been standing but not operating for a couple of years now. It is strictly a drive-in theater only, but there are some rides here and one in particular is pretty interesting actually. Not only is this place home to the only roller coasters in the state of Montana, but one of those roller coasters is the last Alan Herschel Monster Mouse in the United States. Granted, it's been years since a roller coaster has run, but that is still an incredible feat to have it here and standing today. So let's take a look around and then let's uh, watch a movie. remember Little America last season, the Mad Mouse coaster, well, what separates Monster Mouse from the Mad Mouse is that the Monster Mouse has this giant first drop, and then another drop before entering the regular Mad Mouse course. There were a couple of these throughout the United States, but this is currently the only one left. And then I think there's one in like South America or something, so yeah, these are far and few between, and so to have this guy still here, that's very rare. absolutely love how the classic Herschel kitty coaster wraps around the theater screen. Excellent use of space. I've always wondered why there was always a huge amount of space inside these kitty coasters. Usually they put more kitty rides in there, but no, we got a movie screen here. That's awesome. So huge thank you to Jenny who owns Amusement Park Drive-In for letting me in early actually to take some pictures and video of the, of the rides here, of the coaster and of the movie theater. So the movie choices was between Trolls World Tour and The Invisible Man. And honestly, I have the same disinterest level for both movies. So I went with Trolls since it's a shorter of the two movies. I'll be honest, I have very little idea of what the movie is about. So yeah, I'm just going to sort of figure it out on my own, I guess. Fun fact, this is also my very first time at a drive-in theater. Figures it's one with roller coasters at it. You ain't getting none of this. not all what I was expecting. So I gotta hand it to Poppy. She's doing a really good job getting those strings back, and honestly the effort that she's putting into getting these strings back is about the same effort that it takes to get strings or whatever you want from Guitar Center. Now if Gent was trying to take over the world, then they would need to get eight strings minimum. Maybe they'd get away with seven, but they would need eight to take over the world. 
gotta say, the picture quality is a lot better than I was expecting. You gotta admit, if Ozzy Osbourne is going to take over the world, then you gotta at least consider that. <laughs> Everyone's working together. I'm so happy. <laughs> So, so now that I've actually watched the movie, that was uh, pretty all right. I thought it was going to be just your very stereotypical sugar rush kids movie, but they actually put quite a bit of complexity and a lot of flaws in their main protagonists. And for a direct kids movie, that's actually pretty impressive. And then their an antagonist wasn't just a mindless, brainless drone. They actually had their own motivations and their own uh, complexities. I mean, it's no parasite or anything, but it's got effort put into it. And then the animation and just the overall trippiness was, it was actually kind of enjoyable. I had some fun. So do I recommend the movie? Kind of. Do I recommend Amusement Park Drive-In? Absolutely. It'd be awesome if they got their rides up and running at some point. I understand that they have their reasons why they're not. But the overall setting, the customer service, the vibe that I got just being there, it was a ton of fun. So I definitely want to throw another thank you to Jenny, uh, the owner of Amusement Park Drive-In. Thank you so much for letting me in early, take pictures, of all the rides of two roller coasters. And then thank you so much for checking out this video. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you learned something new about Montana. Thank you all for watching. I will see you in the next one. Take care. Pepper, wanna say goodbye? Say goodbye.